Welcome to our channel. Jennifer Aniston is the richest celebrity who's single. Jennifer Aniston is currently the richest celebrity who's not in a relationship. Aniston's net worth has continued to increase over the years, and according to Black Outfit Poor, her finances have surpassed her peers. The website noted that Aniston's $320 million net worth was the highest in a long list of single celebrities. Angelina Jolie, who Aniston famously had history with, is a distant second on the list with a $150 million net worth. Veteran actor Diane Keaton is third on the list, having amassed a fortune of $120 million in her long and storied career. Although Aniston has been married twice before, the actor seems very content with single life. But there are times she does miss having a partner to turn to for intimacy. Never say never, but I don't have any interest, she told Allure not too long ago. I'd love a relationship, who knows? There are moments I want to just crawl up in a ball and say, I need support. It would be wonderful to come home and fall into somebody's arms and say, that was a tough day. Aniston also doesn't have any children and opened up about trying to conceive with ex-husband Justin Theroux. All the years and years and years of speculation, it was really hard. I was going through IVF, drinking Chinese teas, you name it. I was throwing everything at it. I would have given anything if someone had said to me, freeze your eggs, do yourself a favor, you just don't think it. So here I am today. The ship has sailed, she said. At the time, Aniston not starting a family caused a lot of rumors in the media that she didn't take too kindly to. The Friends alum would eventually prioritize her career over becoming a mother, which some in the media judged her for. I just cared about my career, and God forbid a woman is successful and doesn't have a child. And the reason my husband left me, why we broke up and ended our marriage, was because I wouldn't give him a kid. It was absolute lies. I don't have anything to hide at this point, she said. How Jennifer Aniston's two divorces affected her finances. Aniston seemed to have an amicable split with both of her husbands as far as finances were concerned. Aniston married Pitt in California in the year 2000. When they divorced in 2005, this meant Pitt would have had to forfeit 50% of his earnings per the state. This might have had to be reinforced since the pair allegedly didn't sign a prenup and Pitt had a higher net worth. Aniston also had a stake in Pitt's Plan B production company, which they both started together. Pitt remained the sole owner of the company and would eventually sell it in 2022 for an undisclosed amount. According to The Sun, however, Aniston made sure to sign a prenup with her second husband, Theroux. A source for the publication claimed that the prenup protected all of Aniston's assets and friends' wealth. This might have been of little concern for Theroux, though, who was allegedly content with his own fortune. Justin is a proud man. He won't be asking for anything from Jen in the split, the insider said. He's got his own money and would never dream of an ugly court battle over the house or ask her for spousal support. He still cares about Jen a lot and wants to make the process of splitting up as pain-free as possible. And even if Theroux were to change his mind, Aniston's prenup was allegedly ironclad and impenetrable. It would be very hard for Justin to contest it. The prenup talks before the marriage were long and intense, the source said. 